Joining us now, BYU basketball player Davin Gwynn. Welcome to Studio B, Davin. Thank you. Glad to be here. We have to start with what Nick Emery brought up uh, on Basketball <laughs> Media <laughs> Day. Okay? We're going to look at your journey to BYU and all that really fun stuff. You have a great story, but we're you not going to start with that. You do have a fantastic story, but you ha we have to ask about what Nick Emery said. And that is, I think Jeremy asked the question, who is the guy that would be most willing to go shirtless during shirts and skins basketball game and he's like davin gwynn <laughs> so true or not what yeah what is that about uh you know i don't know i, I think we have a lot of guys that would be willing to go uh shirtless when we play but uh <laughs> that would be willing to go skins but i mean you know we work out a lot and someone's got to do it so <laughs> <laughs> who, if it's not you who's the next guy in line then uh i think eric or eli would be right close behind eli. Me. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that we hear sense. a lot about eli and his strength and uh just how pound for pound how strong he is oh yeah strong guy he's really strong <laughs> he's okay now, now let's get to he's your, your story. lifting buddy yeah that's fun for you oh, i guess oh yeah no wonder <laughs> yeah. okay eli and davin yeah well, lucky you now let's get to your story and uh we'll let you take us through this but just to set it up you chose to turn down a scholarship and and i'll leave it there walk us through what happened when you turned down a scholarship uh to return to uc riverside and how in the world did you end up where you are now Okay, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's kind of a good story. I mean, uh, I was at UC Riverside, had a scholarship. Uh, you know, overall had a positive experience there, actually. Um, you know, learned quite a bit. But, you know, I went on my mission, and I just, you know, felt like I needed to, you know, uh, take a different path. And I have a bunch of family up here, too. And, you know, it was my, my mom's dream to have all her kids up here, you know, going to the same school. And so, you know, I guess overall I just felt like I needed to, you know, come up here to BYU. Um, although... You know, we kind of had a rough year at UC Riverside, so I uh, didn't have, I wasn't very marketable, I guess you'd say. So uh, I had to actually, you know, give up basketball, give up the scholarship, come up here just as a student. And um, I mean, I just went to went to trial and, you know, things just took off from there. So. You had no preferred walk on status, obviously yeah, there, no and let's scholarship. Let's explain that. There's a where the coaches go, okay, we want you on the team, but we don't have a scholarship for you. You were just straight up like, hey guys, you don't know me, right? <laughs> and, and then yeah. tried out and made the team. Um, so what was it like, what was it like to do that? Just, just to get on the team somehow? Oh yeah. Well, the tryout experience, uh, that was kind of unique, you know, coming from being on scholarship and being, you know, one of the, more of the go-to guys at UC Riverside. And then all of a sudden doing a, just a regular normal trial, just with other students. Um, you know, I, I just, you know, kind of went into it, just hoping, hoping for good things. Um, and they, you know, picked me up and, uh, you know, had me start practicing with the guys and, you know, eventually just over time, you know, uh, you know, the cards just fell, fell in my favor and a uh, spot opened up. So that's kind of how it went. The open tryout uh, has also been called the meat market for the coaches because they're just <laughs> scoping it out, you know. And so when were you contacted and who contacted you after that open tryout to say, okay, we, we want to take a closer look? Uh, that was uh, Andrew, Andrew May. He uh, uh, gave me a call and, you know, I got an email saying that, you know, I was invited to, to come practice with him on Monday and, um, so I was scrambling to switch my schedule around, figure out how I was going to make it because it just happened super fast. I just got an email, and all of a sudden I needed to forget start my practicing. humanities yeah, class. American Heritage, see ya. <laughs> Let's go. Nope. I got basketball nope. practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I kind of had to make a lot of changes, but I mean, it was worth it. Okay, <laughs> then this summer, uh, you aren't just on the team; you're offered a scholarship. Well, walk us through that experience. Um, yeah, so I came up here. So I actually went back for spring to to work. Um, I worked for a small, small law office trying to save some money so I could play, uh, throughout the year and, you know, came back up here over summer and we started doing our summer workouts. And, um, I just remember, uh, one day, uh, coach Rose, uh, met us before weights with the whole team. And he just announced that, uh, they were going to give me a scholarship and, uh, it was a pretty, pretty defining moment for me. I, uh, you know, I felt really happy. All the guys were super excited for me as well. It was a good moment for sure. Did, did that come out of the blue? Or did you think you were hoping maybe for one at some point? Um, I mean, I'm always, you know, uh, trying to, you know, earn earn the most that I can. And um, so, but I, no, I, I didn't I didn't know that that was going to happen. It kind of came out of the blue, to be honest. So, but yeah. What That's do you awesome. think sets you apart as a basketball player uh, and and makes you unique? Something that that the coaches would like and would want part of BYU basketball. Um. You know, I think, uh, well, I had a whole year last year of, you know, playing in and practicing and being with the team just for the love of the game. And so, you know, I part of the reason I like basketball is just because I like being able to compete. And and I think the coaches can see that is that I, I really just love the, the competition aspect. I, I love winning. 
And, um, you know, I just really overall love the game of basketball. The team starts practice Monday, and we had basketball media day uh, two days ago on Thursday. Uh, how how good is this team, and what's it like to be on this team that a lot of people have been excited about for a couple of years now? Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of talent on this team, and um, you know a lot of players are are really capable, and it's honestly it's a unique team. We all get along. Um, there's really good chemistry so far, and you know I think we can, we have a real opportunity to do some special things. Uh, it's going to be a good season. I'm I'm super excited for practice to start on on Monday and get things rolling. I'm not surprised to hear you say you love practice because your coaches, uh, and, and I asked you what sets you apart. You say you love basketball and you want to practice, but your coaches say your ability to outwork everyone else is what they have immediately noticed and continue to notice. Where do you get the drive to just continue to push? Because it's, it's hard to stay that consistent and that motivated when it's not always fun and it's hard and you might not be getting all the minutes and whatnot. So how, where do you find that drive within yourself? Um. Sometimes I ask myself the same thing, <laughs> but um, no, I think it just comes down to to grit. Um, you know, my my mom, and my dad, they always you know taught me that you have to you have to fight for something. Uh, you got to work for something, and you know, basketball has provided that outlet for me. And so I just think you know it's just some sort of innate desire just to to win and keep going. And you know, I think actually a lot of guys on our team have that too, and that's why the team seems to be pretty special so far. That's awesome. I love that. You got to fight for something. Um, that's that's fantastic. The uh, we call it the YMCA, the Merritt Center Annex. Yeah. Um, that's going to be done soon. Yeah. Um, what kind of difference could that make for the program? I think it's going to make a huge difference. Um, you know, sometimes they have events going on in the Marriott Center, and so you know we're down in the the RB, the Richards Building, uh, making do with that. But um, you know, with this annex. Uh, you know, we're always going to have a court and, you know, we like to do a lot of individual work, work on our game. So we'll always have a place to do that. And I know especially it's a it's a big moment for Coach Rose. He's been really, really pushing for this. So we're all super excited from that standpoint, too. Davin Gwynn with this BYU basketball player just recently received a scholarship and excited, obviously, to start a new season with a team that has a ton of hype. That said, Davin, where do you feel like the strength of the team will be like if you had to say okay this is what we do best what would you say that is um you know it's funny that you say that we uh coach shork our strength and conditioning coach he always says the uh that the strength of the wolf lies in the pack and uh and i think that's really true um you know we have a good team unity so far and i think the strength is going to come from not only the individual talent that we have but just the the unselfishness that i've already seen from the guys Everybody wants to win. Everybody wants to do something special this year. And so I think that that's a unique a aspect of the team. Did Coach Shork watch the uh, new Jungle Book movie? Because that's <laughs> yeah, where that line is from, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what we all, we all joke around saying that he got it from that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I enjoyed that movie. I thought it was good. Yeah, good movie. Awesome. <laughs> Davin, great stuff, man. Congratulations uh, you. on your success and progress. We want you to sign our BYU Sports Nation Stretch Y flag. Okay. And we're going to yeah. give you some uh, some BYU Sports Nation karma as well as you open up practice. Yeah, absolutely.